Excuse me, excuse me, man. 65. 65? Amen. Cheers. Cheers, man. Cheers for everybody, uh, for everybody to be happy. It's a big battle. Just for a man, no? <laughs> How do you feel tonight, man? Without wine, it's unbelievable. You don't need wine to feel alright? Play some drink. Just a little bit. Uh, just having some fun. This wine is a, a good wine. I pay almost 100 pesos. But most of my friends are uh, all-time alcoholics, and they don't have money for, for to pay this wine. So first I came here and I, I take alone, all alone, all alone. But from here, after two or three hours staying here alone, I go to Garibaldi, and that's my life. When I got an old man. I started drinking, but when I was a young man, I was working, so I got money from the from from the government. Electronics, electronics, repairing all kind of uh, TVs and computers and so on. And let's say women. When I was young, I was a, a beautiful man, so I like always, always beautiful women. I don't like horrible women, so I hate Mexicans. <laughs> um, a Chicago man came here. And I was a movie star. Yes, I have brothers and sisters. One of my sisters helped me. No, not all the time. So, sometimes you have money to, to pay the hotel. Sometimes you go to see your family. But most of the time, yes, I'm on the streets asking for money. And you pick up the cardboard and you go to sell it. Yes, uh, some time ago, a crazy, a crazy bunch of young Mexicans want to to, to, to help me, no? So uh, I, I got up, I got up, I got up, it's something and immediately, you know? To get up and immediately. And, uh, and the fucking chef went away. But, go away, let's go. Move on, man. Ready, you gotta be ready. Hey, it's a wine, man. What kind of music do you hear? The people thought that it was just like, like, like drinking and, and smoking and so on all night long and so on and on. And on. You have to. How do you say in English? Little by little. Young people are crazy. They take too much drugs. They don't, they don't recognize any limits. Do you understand? In my time, many hip, American hippies from LA, from Houston, Texas, mainly from LA, came to Mexico. And I met many hippies, many American hippies. But let me tell you something, it's, it's sorry to say, to say, but they were crazy. They, they, they didn't recognize any limits. They, they, they became so wild, so crazy, and the drugs killed them, all of them, many of them. And many beautiful women, many beautiful people. Nothing like the hippie times, like the 60s, when Jimi Hendrix, The Doors, Janis Joplin, oh, you know, the big, the big stars. It was almost like heaven on earth, man. Do you understand? So for a long time, for a long time, I've been hearing music. And the music for me means everything. Everything. <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers.
let's say one liter, one liter, or one liter, one liter. Not too much. You have to sleep at least five, five or six hours. And you have to, to eat something to keep on, to keep on the way. You know? Let me tell you something, man. Living on the streets, you feel the happiest man because you feel free, completely free. Freedom is a life of freedom. Nobody tells you anything, and you do whatever you want to do. As long as you don't bother nobody, anybody else, everything will be all right. So for me, it's, it's so nice. Uh, with my family? No, when I was younger, no. Let me remember, man, let me remember. I finished my schooling in the 70s. Oh, yes, it's a long time. 20 years, 20 years straight. Huh. And I feel happy. Well, but because when I was living with my family, no, it's crazy. The people are crazy in many ways, man. The root of my, my, my stuff is when, when I was a hippie. So I started learning English because I love the American culture. The old one, eh? I came from a, from a fucking Czech family. My mother was all right. My father was a wino. In Mexico, al al alcohol, alcohol, alcoholism, alcoholism, the poroches, many of them, many the poroches. In Mexico, they don't say, but in Mexico, most of the people uh, have problems with alcohol. I just wanted to kill my father. Hit him, hit him. Yeah, it's a bad Yes, Just whipping, whipping all the time. Many other times because he, he, he got home. He got home crazy with alcohol and started hitting brothers and me, four brothers. My father was a, he had a good position in, in a bank over there. And he was an alcoholic. He had good money and so on. But he was a, like most of the Mexican men. He was a macho. A hitter, he, all the time he was fucking shit, he was fucking shit and hitting me and hitting me. At the end of all, I wanted to kill my father. Just for a while. He got, now, now he's dead. But I didn't kill him, but I wanted to kill my, my father. I stopped because of my, my mother and my sisters. He was a fucking shit, he was a devil. <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers, man. But it happened a long time ago. Now I'm a happy man. Yes, it's beautiful. <laughs> now, wait, wait, excuse me, let me, let me peace. The police is there, but they know me. All of my brothers and sisters became the same, normal people. They have, they had jobs. Excuse me, wait, wait. The police is over there. <laughs> and I, I don't believe it. I just, just about to leave to go away when you came. No, wait, 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 wait. 